Uh, so, hi everyone. Uh, I will uh, give us a brief introduction of uh, Torch. And uh, well, the Torch is originally from NYU and it's written in C and Lua. And it usually a lot at uh, Facebook and Google DeepMind. And I see a lot of folks are uh, at uh, Twitter are using it. So, uh, one thing freaks people out uh, about Torch is that you have to write in Lua, uh, which I never heard of uh, it before. Uh, well, after I started uh, to work with Torch, well, but it actually isn't too bad as that Lua is a high level scripting language and it often uses an embedded device so it can run really fast. Uh, so, uh, it's very similar to the JavaScript in a lot of ways. Uh, it's very fast for the full, full loop than uh, Python because uh, it used the just-in-time completion to make these things really fast. And Lua... Oh, oh, sorry. It's a... Okay. Uh, so Lua, you can use the object-oriented programming uh, in similar ways as you uh, used in JavaScript. Uh, so well, but sometimes Lua get a bit of annoying because uh, it's just a one a one index. So if you want to apply for a string, uh, it won't it won't uh, count it uh, uh, from zero. So it uh, it's a bit of annoying. Uh, so the main idea behind Torch is this tensor class. Uh, so I don't know whether you can see it clearly. Uh, okay. Mm, so uh, so the NumPy array gives you uh, a really easy way to manipulate data. And here is the code just computing a simple forward pass of a two-layer RANU uh, network. Uh, so it just uh, creates some ra random uh, 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 random weights and random input, and then uh, we do the forward pass, uh, uh, and the, the forward pass is just by doing the matrix multiplication, re uh, redo, and do another matrix multiplication. So it has almost one to one line. A translation into torch uh, tensors, uh, and on the right side is exactly the same code uh, by you, uh, but using the torch in Lua. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, uh, the first and, uh, and second layer uh, weights are, are are pretty much similar with the NumPy, and uh, and then we apply for the uh, forward pass. Uh, and also, it's like the metric multiplication, but it's in torch uh, tensor. And then, uh, call, uh, well, for here, it have a cmax. Well, cmax uh, is just uh, the element-wise uh, maximum. And, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, that in place the revel. And then, we just apply another matrix multiplication. So in general, pretty much any code you use in NumPy have one-to-one -one translation in Torch uh, tensor instead. So in NumPy, it's really easy to swap and use different data types. Uh, if you want to switch data to 33 floating, po uh, uh, floating points, you just uh, simply use that code, and uh, and then, <coughs> uh, oh, well, and, uh, and all you need to do is cast your data to these other data types. And uh, so here is why the torch is much much better than the NumPy, uh, and that is the GPU is just another data type. So when you want to run a code on GPU in Torch, you import function and cast your tensor 
uh, to this other data type. And now everything is on the GPU. So it's very important to do as many operations in place as we can to avoid allocating lots of memory uh, when we don't need to. So and uh, Torch tries to make it easy for you to do exactly uh, like that. And so as a simple example here, uh, we, we, can, we consider the difference between those two operations. And if we don't need to value of uh, the T anymore, and we can overwrite its entries. The first one allocated uh, the new memory, but the second one does not uh, uh, create any memory allocation. So there, uh, there are many situations where we can avoid allocating uh, memories. Uh, for example, like expansion of the equation. So in reality, uh, you end up uh, you end up with not really using tensor too much in Torch. Instead of that, we're quite uh, often using the other package. It's called NN package. Uh, well, the NN stands for the neural network. So it's like this tensor uh, abstraction, and then you implement the neural net library on top of it in a nice uh, clean packet, uh, uh, clean interface. So here is the same two-layer ReLU network using the NN package. So we define our network as sequential. So it's going to be a stack of sequential operations right here. And the first, we're going to have a linear, uh, which is a uh, a fully connected layer from uh, input dimension to a hidden dimension, and then we uh, we uh, we will have the ReLU, and then we're doing another linear uh, uh, linear method. So now we can get the weights and guardians in two tensors um, by uh, uh, by uh, by doing the beautiful layer uh, ReLU network. So here we, uh, we use a, a softmax loss function. Uh, and remember, uh, in Torch, uh, uh, we don't call it, uh, the, uh, uh, we often call it loss function as uh, satirian uh, in Torch. So, and then we generate some random data, random input data. And also, uh, we're doing the forward pass. Uh, we just call the net forward method of the net object uh, using our data, thus give us score. And then we, we have that score, we compute our loss. So for backward pass, we uh, first set our uh, guardians to zero and call back uh, backward on the loss function and the backward on the network. So this has updated all, all of the guardians for the network. So this would be multiplying the guardian weights by the opposite of the learning rate and adding it to the weights. And this is the simple guardian design update. So, as you might expect from looking at the tensor, it's very easy to implement this in GPU. So, in order to run in the GPU, we import some new packages, uh, the cool torch and the cooldown. And, and then we just need to cast our network and our loss function to this other data type. So, and we also need to cast our data and labels, and now the whole network will run and train on GPU. So, 
so in cafe, uh, it has knives and layers. Well, the, uh, the knife and layers uh, will have very different distinction. Well, but in Torch, it's all uh, combined together with uh, modules. So for one single layer, we can call it a module. And for a whole uh, network, we can also call a module. So the modules are just a class defined in Lua and that are implemented uh, using Tensor API. So the linear uh, is the fully connected layer in Lua, and this is the constructor and here. And, uh, and on the right side is uh, just the Lua uh, constructor, and you can see it just setting some bias and weight. So using individual layers on their own isn't so useful. We need to be able to stitch uh, it, uh, them together uh, into a large network. So for this, uh, Torch use container. So uh, for this, we already saw one in a previous example. Uh, and, uh, and this was the sequential container. So sequential container is just a stack of modules uh, that one receives the output from the previous one uh, and just goes in a linear uh, stack. So another one you might see is that concave table and you want to apply to a different modules uh, to the same input, uh, then the concave table will do that. You will receive the output as a list. Here, the output is a list. So another uh, one you might see is a parallel table. Uh, if you have a, li a list of the inputs and you apply uh, different modules uh, to, diff uh, to each element, then you can use a parallel table for that uh, sort of uh, construction. So, and here is uh, some other uh, pretty useful packages in Torch, like uh, CrewDN is bending for NVIDIA kernel, uh, and uh, uh, also the HD uh, F5 and CJSON is uh, well, we're using that to read and write uh, those files uh, in Torch. Uh, and also we have the Torch Autograd, uh, well, which is pretty similar with the Cyano and TensorFlow, uh, and it's just automatic uh, doing the differentiation. So, uh, the torch has some pros and cons. Uh, so at first, it's a Lua. Uh, the Lua may turn many people off that area. Well, but it's, uh, well, Lua is quite easy to uh, learn, uh, to understand. Uh, uh, so, uh, that, uh, uh, so if you put some time, you will, uh, like, 30 minutes, uh, then you will, uh, uh, get quite familiar with Lua, and uh, also, uh, uh, well, it's true, it uh, have less uh, plug and play than cafe, so that means you uh, you really write, uh, you should, you will write your own training code, uh, well, but it also gives you a lot more flexibility, so lots of module uh, pieces are uh, easy to combine, and easy to write your own layer types and run GPU. Well, oh, well, but uh, sometimes it's not so good uh, to recurrent network uh, because when you want to have uh, multiple, uh, multiple modules that shares ways with each other, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of brittle uh, and, it, uh, and it, will, it will lead you uh, into some uh, uh, settled bugs, so it's pretty hard to fix that. Okay, that's all. Thank you.